What's up, everybody? This is Big Sarge back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what a 25 Delta is in case you were thinking about making this your MOS when you join the U.S. Army. So let's get into it. You're digging into U.S. Army jobs, probably asking yourself, what kind of roles are there beyond infantry and logistics? Now, maybe you're into computers, maybe you've got a knack for problem solving, or maybe you're just wondering how cyber warriors fit into the military puzzle. Either way, you're in the right place. So today, we're going to be diving into one of the Army's most technical, high demand, and future forward careers, and that is the 25 Delta, also known as a cyber network defender. And this video is going to be for you if you're considering joining the Army and you love technology, or you're already in the army and thinking about reclassing, or you're just curious about how cybersecurity works in the military. Either way, let's talk about what it really means to be a 25 Delta in the U.S. Army, from training and duties to career prospects and civilian crossover. First things first, what is a 25 Delta? So in the army, Every job is assigned a MOS or a Military Occupational Specialty Code. In the Code 25 Delta, this refers to the job of a cyber network defender. In plain English, you're the Army's version of a cybersecurity analyst, blue team operator, and network protector all rolled into one. Your job is to detect, respond to, and defend Army networks against cyber threats. From hacking attempts and viruses to insider threats and malware attacks, 25 Deltas, they are the digital guardians of the Army's IT infrastructure. So exactly what does a 25 Delta actually do? Well, they do a lot and I'm not exaggerating. So here are just a few things that 25 Deltas might do in a given week. First thing is they monitor and defend networks. So you're going to use tools like intrusion detection systems, firewalls, and log analyzers to detect unauthorized access, analyze network traffic, and respond to suspicious activity. So if someone's trying to break into the Army systems, you'll be the first to know and the first to act. The next thing you're probably going to be doing is investigating cyber incidents. So when a breach or suspicious event happens, you might pull logs and run forensics. You're going to identify how it happened, whether it was phishing, malware, or brute force attack. And then you're going to contain the threat and prevent further damage. So basically, you're the Army's digital detective. Another thing you're going to find yourself doing is what is called hardening systems against attack because prevention is key. So you're going to help secure servers, workstations, and applications by applying patches, locking down user access, and enforcing strong password and encryption policies. So basically, you're always trying to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. And then you're also going to do some training and advising of other soldiers. So not everyone in the Army is a techie. But part of your job is to educate others, whether that's teaching safe browsing habits, helping units comply with cybersecurity policies, or advising leadership during mission planning. So essentially, just think of yourself as a cybersecurity subject matter expert. All right, so next, how do you become a 25 Delta? So unlike most MOSs that you can choose straight out of high school or enlistment, 25 Delta, this is a reclassification MOS, which means it is not available to brand new soldiers. But don't worry, it's still very much within your reach. Because the first thing you got to do, you got to join the Army. You got to start in another communications or IT MOS, like the 25 Bravo, which is an information technology specialist. And that's what my MOS used to be when I was in the military. Or you could be a 25 November, which is a nodal network systems operator. Or you could be a 17 Charlie, which is a cyber operations specialist. And then after you do that, you need to meet the requirements. So to be eligible to reclass to 25 Delta, you need to hold the rank of specialist through staff sergeant. You also need to have a minimum general technical score of 105. You need to be eligible for a top secret clearance. You need to have at least one year of IT experience and you need to pass a background investigation. And then after you meet all of those requirements, you're going to attend the 25 Delta school. So once approved, you'll go to what is called AIT or advanced individual training at Fort Eisenhower, which you to be known as Fort Gordon. And this course is intense and it's focused on teaching you about network security tools, computer forensics, incident response, risk management, operating system hardening for Windows and Linux, and you'll be learning how to secure code and scripting. So basically, you're going to leave Fort Eisenhower well equipped with real valuable skills. Now, after you do all of that, here's where things can get exciting because the search that you're going to earn as a 25 Delta, they are directly transferable to high paying civilian jobs. And some of the common certifications are the CompTIA Security Plus, the Certified Ethical Hacker, the Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate, the CISSP, 
the CYSA Plus, which stands for Cybersecurity Analyst Plus, the Network Plus certification, and the Linux Plus certification. And here's a good thing. The Army, they may pay for your certifications or even cover your exam costs. And these credentials are gold in the civilian tech world if you want to get out there and start making the big bucks. All right, so exactly what is the day-to-day -day life like for a 25 Delta? So this varies depending upon where you're stationed at and what unit you are assigned to. But here's a rough look at a typical day. So in the morning, you're going to go out there and do some PT. You're going to go grab some chow and then report to your section. And then you're going to start checking for alerts, logs, and ticket queues for potential security incidents. By midday, you're probably going to be working on system updates or patches, investigating any active threats or suspicious activity. Then you're going to meet with your S6 or battalion leadership to give status updates. Then when the afternoon hits, you're going to be out there training junior soldiers on cybersecurity awareness, participating in red team and blue team exercises, updating policies, writing reports, or reviewing DOD directives. Now, there's a mix of desk work, hands-on technical troubleshooting, and team collaboration. And you'll definitely be expected to stay sharp because in cybersecurity, the threats do evolve rather fast. Exactly where will you be stationed at? So because 25 Deltas are highly skilled and in demand, they are found pretty much everywhere from CONUS bases such as Fort Bragg, Fort Hood, or Fort Meade, to cybersecurity centers like the Army Cyber Command, to special operations units, or you may find yourself even overseas in places like Germany and Korea. Now there's even a potential to support classified missions, cyber defense operations, or joint task forces. Now here is where the 25 Delta MOS really shines. So when your army career ends, you're not just a veteran, you are a trained cyber defense specialist with real world experience and hopefully professional certifications. And here are just a few roles that align with your training. So you might qualify for a job as a cybersecurity analyst, an information security engineer, a security operations center analyst, a digital forensic specialist, a pen tester, a risk management analyst, and a system administrator with security forces and a whole host of other jobs. Now, the most important question is exactly how much do these people make? Well, entry-level civilian cybersecurity analysts, they often start out between seventy dollars to $100,000 a year, with senior roles pushing well into the six-figure range. And veterans with a 25 Delta background are especially attractive to government agencies like the NSA, DHS, and the FBI, also defense contractors like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. Big tech companies hired 25 Delta, such as Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Microsoft and 25 Deltas are often hired into financial institutions because banks, they need some cybersecurity as well. All right, so let's talk about the career progression as a 25 Delta. So in the Army, you're not just sitting around in the same seat forever. Your career can grow if you stay motivated. So here's the enlisted promotion path. So more than likely, you're going to be a specialist. You're going to get promoted to E5 and then to E6. And then you can eventually hit the Sergeant First Class, Master Sergeant, or even the Sergeant Major's rank if you play your cards right. You can also transition to become a warrant officer or a commission officer. So you can apply for warrant officer candidate school to become a 255 Sierra, which is an information protection technician, or you can go the commission officer route through OCS and work in cyber operations as a 17 Alpha, which is a cyber warfare officer. And then you also have special assignments where you could be a part of the cyber protection team. You could be on red team and blue team rotations. You could be a part of the cyber mission force or the cyber warfare command. So basically, if you're a go getter, then sky is pretty much the limit for you. So is the 25 Delta MOS right for you? Well, it's not for everyone. But if this sounds like you, then it might be a perfect match. So if you love computers, coding, or cybersecurity, then this might be for you. If you're naturally curious and enjoy solving puzzles, you don't mind spending hours behind the screen if it means protecting the mission, you're comfortable handling sensitive information, and you're willing to continuously learn because the cyber world never sits still, then guess what? The 25 Delta MOS might be the right career path for you. But also you should know that every MOS has its downsides and the 25 Delta is no exception. One of the downsides is there is a high learning curve. So if you're not already tech savvy, this can feel overwhelming at first because you're going to be learning about cyber law, network protocols, cryptography, system administration, and scripting. There's going to be a lot of pressure and responsibility. 
You're going to be dealing with real threats to national security. And one mistake can have major consequences. You're going to have stress when it comes to dealing with getting a clearance because you're going to need to have a top secret clearance, which means that your background is going to get heavily scrutinized. So any financial issues, past drug issues, or any shady associates, all of that can potentially hold you back. And also, you're not going to be a typical soldier. So if you join the army to kick in doors and blow up stuff or live in the field, this is not that type of career field. So to wrap all this up, cybersecurity isn't going away. If anything, it's more important now than ever, and the Army knows this. So becoming a 25 Delta Cyber Network Defender, this means you're defending more than just data. You're protecting missions, people, and national security. You're building skills that make you valuable in and out of the uniform, and you're stepping into a high-tech, high-impact role that makes a difference every day. So if you're already in the Army and thinking about reclassing, or you're charting a path towards a future in cybersecurity, the 25 Delta, this could be the smartest career move you would ever make. And with that being said, if you got any questions or comments, drop them down below. And with that, I will holler at you all on the next video. So peace.